in the time before time, all was one and unchanging. Then in a thunderous flash, And thus were born the cycles. The spin of the earth, the passing of the seasons, birth and death again and again. But life is compelled to transcend, and so man came to ascend. We grew and learned, raising countless civilizations and reaching heights the likes of which today we can only dream. But the power that these civilizations achieved also brought with it the seeds of their downfall. Blown to dust, each in turn leaving nothing in their stead but the motion that would give rise to the next. Birth and death again and again. The Sahib, a civilization lost long ago to the dust, saw the coming of their own destruction, and though they could not prevent it, they sought to break the cycles. Nine among them. Have the accommodations to your satisfaction? Come on, get out. What were my exact instructions? Stay at the house. Now that sounds simple enough. Wouldn't you say, Huruna? I can help. Let me come. You won't regret this, please. If you were to accompany me, you must follow my instructions to the letter. Is that clear? Clear as daylight. So. Where are we headed? I need to reach that distant oasis, but the desert has retaken the road, so we walk. It's like all the life here got scraped away by one big hand. Why would you possibly need to be here? All I know is that it's serious. It's more than serious. It is dangerous. Rekha, you've always been there for me. Let me be there for you. That's not what we are to each other, child. Won't you at least tell me what we're doing here? I am here for my own reasons. You are here because the desert would swallow you up too if I left you alone. Hmm. An old pupil of mine has become misguided. Looking where he shouldn't be. Vincent. Yes, Vincent. Rekha, we should go around. 
I don't think this path leads anywhere. I won't say I told you so. There is always a path for those willing to find it. We need to hurry. Rekka, who is Vincent? A talented young quester. Someone who I had hoped could be a guiding light. It turns out I was mistaken. You called him a pupil. Did I? <laughs> no hidden nooks this time. When there isn't a path to be found, These are incredible. Who? They call themselves the Sahin, though that name has long been lost to time. The Sahin? Like in your stories about the Unknown Nine? Like in my stories, yes. Does this have anything to do with why Vincent is here? One could say Vincent and the Sahin run parallel paths. your deepest essence. It is a bridge between this world and the other. The fall? Yes. Your shade draws Am directly from the fold. Now try channeling that energy into the braces. across the distance and crushing those stones. But it was like there was no distance to bridge, and the stones didn't feel separate. Separation is but an illusion, albeit a persistent one. <clears throat> Can you make it up that cliff? I spent my childhood scaling walls. Can you? Of course. There's plenty you don't know about me. Our destination lies beyond that large rock formation. What do you intend to do when you catch up to Vincent? That depends entirely upon Vincent. <clears throat> we need to drop onto that ledge. That's a good drop. Can you make it? Do I seem that old to you? Mm, not old, just older. You're the oldest person I know. Perhaps I am. Even so, you should get out and know more people. Come. Haruna, stay low. Who are they? They used to be part of a group of free thinkers and explorers. You mean the Lipia Society? Once. Perhaps. Now they simply follow Vincent. Watch your step. They're dangerous. What do we have here? Hold him back. I will find my way down to you. 